um, this is really a special day here in Brockton High School, or as we all say here, in Boxer Country. And I am, for those of you not he here that know me, the kids do, but um, I am Dr. Susan Zakowitz, the very proud principal of the best high school in the universe. <laughs> Dr. Mitchell Chester for selecting us at Brockton High School to release the state scores. The commissioner has over 1,800 schools to choose from, and I am very pleased to say, sir, that you picked the right one. Right? Now, I'm going to, uh, be, I'm going to be introducing some very special guests who are here today, but I need to begin with the most important people here today, our superstars of the day, our students, the class of 2011. Oh, yeah. There are many reasons why I am so proud of you, class of 2011. Unbelievable. With your very impressive academic achievements, you have proven that you are competing with the best students in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And in fact, you need to hear this part. Because the MCAS is such a rigorous test and ranked as one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult in the country, you are competing successfully eye to eye against the best students in the nation. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You need to feel proud of that, and I, for one, certainly am very proud of you for that. And you know what else I know that not everybody here does know? I know that so many of you face many challenges in your own lives. Some of you have faced unbelievably difficult family circumstances. Some of you here in this room have been fighting, still are fighting serious illnesses. Some of you have come from different countries, and you had to learn to speak English and then pass the most rigorous test in the country. You are also here because your teachers, here behind every one of you are teachers who have pushed and pushed you, sometimes with a bit of whining on your part. No, not true, right? They, they have pushed you to do the best you can, and so behind the success of this school is a faculty that does not give up. And I wish they could all be here in this room to watch this assembly, but unfortunately the rest of the school is in class right now, so here we are. They're working. Here's what you have proven, that you will work hard, you will face every obstacle in front of you with strength, you will not give up, and you never make excuses. And that is awesome. And I am so very proud, and not only as your principal, but I also have to say this, and the students here know this, but also as a Brockton Boxer alumni myself. <laughs> not a very recent class, I must say, though. <laughs> and I want to say something about that, because sometimes I hear some of the old-time Brocktonians talk about the good old days. And they say things, they imply that the students then were smarter, the students worked harder. Well, I need to tell you that well, I was here as a student in those good old days. And guess what? We never received these kind of awards. We never received this kind of recognition. And when you enter our school now, you see the banners, and they show our awards. A national model school for the past six years. National School Change Award. One of 18 schools in the country to be featured at the Secondary School Showcase this coming March. We were recently featured at Harvard at the Achievement Gap Conference. And we are now one of America's best high schools, according to US News and World Report. You know what? I'd say the good old days are here right now. So um, let me just uh, introduce just a, uh, some people that are here today, because again, as I said, behind every one of us are many people that we stand on their shoulders. 
And so let me begin by just doing a, an introduction of some of the special guests here today. And I've been trying to watch as, as people have come in, so um, I hope I haven't missed anybody. But first of all, um, it would be, I have to begin with um, the person behind all of you because um, she is the one always chasing behind you and always voted by the students as the most fearsome person in the school. Our associate principal for curriculum and instruction, Ms. Maria LaFort. She is scary, isn't she? She's scary. We also have many, many members of our central office here today, and I have to tell you that um, you know the central office is here in Brockton, and you don't get students, you don't get to know them. Uh, but whenever I call and, and say we need something, they're the folks that are there for us to help that way. And also behind everybody, uh, we have a school committee in the city, and I see one of our school committee members, War Three school committee member Janice Byer, is here today, so we welcome her. visiting us. And I saw a sneak in the back, so you probably didn't even want to be um, want to be identified, but as part of the the director of the Achievement Gap Institute at Harvard, Ron Ferguson is I think way, way, way in the back. And so we are very happy to welcome everybody here today. And the commissioner we'll meet in just a bit and he's brought a number of his staff here today, and all of it is in support of all of you. And that's what counts, because um, your teachers, us in administration, all of the people surround you, and nothing makes us happier than when you are successful. So that is awesome. So let me, at this time, move the program along. Um, and it gives me great pleasure at this time to introduce another one of Brockton High's best cheerleaders, the mayor of our city of champions, James Harrington. Good morning, everyone. Just smell a whole long day at Brockton High School, huh? You get so used to this that sometimes we take it for granted, but I just want to take a minute to tell you it's so great to be here. Uh, whenever I'm here, I feel like I'm home. Uh, it's the warmest place in the, uh, the world to be, is to enter the doors of this school because of the staff, the principal, and all of you young people and what you accomplish. We make decisions every day on what you're going to do and how we're going to teach you and all those things, but you who are really the most proud of. You're the ones that do the work. You're the ones that have stepped up. You're the ones that determine that you're going to be better than anyone else. And it's, it's to me, to see the, uh, the uh, commissioner here today, it's a little scary because I think they're trying to figure out this really is the best high school on the planet. God bless you. Have a good day. Superintendent in Brockton, Dr. Matthew Malone. I'll tell you, it's a pleasure to be here today. Can I get a, a ginormous round of applause to the teachers in the Brockton Public School? The Brockton High School, you know, we're no longer comparing ourselves to the, to the other urban high schools in this state. No. We're comparing ourselves to the best high schools in the state and in the country, and that's what you have done, that's what you have shown here today. We're here to celebrate the reduction in the achievement gap and success on the MCAS. We're also very, very proud of you. The best performance we've seen in years was this year's, this class, the class of 2000. that the commissioner has decided to come here today to release all of the test scores for all schools across the Commonwealth, and we have been the site that he has chosen to do that because of your work. From the bottom of my heart, I am your new superintendent. I've been here 17 days. I've learned one thing. I'm gonna tell you what that one thing has been in 17 days. Brockton doesn't quit, and we don't give up, and we don't give in. Let's go. 